Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing some general and usually I'm playing a general cycle deck. You today we're gonna be playing general super cycle deck. So basically every cut that we could do uh, we're gonna be doing in today's video. Also my opponent will be most likely playing this very defensive deck that is currently very popular in a clone game of Boomarina. I'm gonna obviously try to refute it. Or maybe it's a steel bait. I don't know honestly. Yeah, it's a steel bait. Completely forget what you've just heard. We're gonna be playing against steel bait against a player who uh, has a name of six stars, so uh, yeah. Like I usually say, it's probably because uh, his name was not uh, matching a terms of service of uh, the Boom Arena and it got blurred. And that's uh, how we get here. We're gonna just play Ice Tiny and unfortunately Bomb Tower ab absolutely finished it off. That was a blunder on my part, but I expected him to play Skeletons on my uh, general and not, uh, and not Ice Tiny, so... He kind of gets the better of me uh, with the predictions. He actually gives up very early, which I didn't expect. Usually Steel Blade players last way longer because they feel like they're entitled to win even in a dead loss position. But I'm not gonna complain. Let's jump to the game number two. And uh, yeah, and this is just a win. Let's go. And in the next game, we're gonna be facing Leo Milka. Another zero metal account, very likely he or she or whatever it may be, just downloaded the game today and decided to queue up into the ladder. And that's gonna be... For simplicity reasons, I'm gonna keep it as a hit. It's gonna be his uh, worst decision of the day, as I'm gonna just uh, play general after general after general without any sign of stopping and uh, yeah we're gonna be doing it to a lot of kids today uh, five to be exact but some may repeat so i'm not gonna confirm the final numbers just yet so my opponent is confirmed to play um, not a default deck at least they've uh, substituted a building as if I remember correctly it was a bomb tower so uh, we're gonna see how the rest of the game will commence I'm gonna actually play drunker because I didn't see any and we have another resignation so very resign happy uh, day today even though I wasn't like absolutely in any trouble at any point of this game it still feels underwhelming uh, by claiming this uh, three star ones again i wanted to show off the this deck against some better opponents and hopefully we'll get them in the next game all right right now we're gonna be facing alperen also with zero metals it's usually not a good sign but we're gonna see maybe he is uh, actual alperen and i just made a, a new account we're gonna see so far he's not responding to our pressure so okay so now we see a mother devil so my opponent uh, right now will be 100 serious of his doings i'm gonna actually play a very aggressive flying bomb and i'm gonna actually get away with that since um, since there's nothing to just stop my super devil cleaning up his defensive units and uh, general got some nice damage i probably should have played a rolling steel but at the same time I think uh, my play was justified because if I went a rolling steel, I would uh, have been like kind of all in, and he might have uh, put some crazy counter push. I'm not playing with that uh, right now, so we're gonna just uh, enjoy what we have. Also, my super devil will be on balloon, which is absolutely uh, phenomenal. Uh, it's gonna also right now, uh, hopefully, okay. It's gonna just barely not uh, kill the T-Rex, but it's still fine. The ghost will reach the tower and my opponent is just not blocking it. Uh, it makes me kinda doubt that it's a real Alperen, so we're gonna just take a 3-star win right here as well. Like I said, very 3 starry day so far. And right now we're gonna be facing actually a uh, man who has named himself as a big black boy. 
I would say. Unfortunately, on YouTube this word is kind of banned, so I don't want to like get it right away. Also, my opponent will be playing a three gunners at the bridge, which is absolutely suboptimal play. Uh, I could have punished him with a general, but I figured like there's no reason uh, to do that. I can just slow play it and win uh, this way anyway. So I'm gonna just uh, proceed to do this instead. I'm gonna actually play. Uh, Oh, I didn't play Ice Tiny. Oh, that's a, that's a bomber. I thought I played Ice Tiny and my uh, troops will absolutely shred through his runners. Um, but yeah, 116 HP uh, is left on the tower, which is absolutely enough for me to like conclude the game as finished. Because as you probably know me, uh, I can pretty much uh, win the game from this position. I'm gonna actually suck Ghost here. I don't think it was necessary, but at the same time, Better safe than sorry, so I'm gonna draw. Okay, he's gonna be playing generals, and right now I uh, kinda want to guess that my opponent is playing just a deck of the most expensive cards, and uh, yeah, that's just not a, a good spot to be in because this deck is very hard to play if you want to get like consistent wins. I'm gonna actually block this bomb scout, maybe even kite it to my... Okay, I, I didn't manage to kite it to my tower, but it would have been perfect because this general would have taken a 3 star, so that's a bomber, but at the same time uh, we get a bomb skeleton and my opponent is in uh, uh, all sorts of trouble right now as he plays flying robot into a super devil. I'm gonna just add a second one and that's gonna be just a dead uh, flying robot. Yeah, I'm gonna play general in the back, just complementing these two super devils. If he ever decides to go for viking, I'm gonna just prevent him from ever getting value. Also these runners are dead, so I might as well just play general right now. Uh, he's now having a source of trouble because three super devils were on his viking tower and yeah that's gonna be just gg's nice play uh, unfortunately my opponent with very suboptimal deck playing here uh, like i said i still am yet to see a good opponent in this video so let's just hop to the next game and hope for one and at last we face a poor shizzy so he's uh, right now at 300 medals, but I've played him a couple of times in the past, he even appeared in my videos and uh, sh surely if you recognize it, he is at least a decent player. So I'm gonna just play Rolling Steel here to clamp everything in one place. I'm gonna stop this Archer hit because honestly why not. I'm gonna play some uh, Super Devil and uh, from the first glance it uh, appears that my opponent will be playing a machine gun so I'm gonna just play general in the back pretty much uh, wish him good luck in attacking me and if he succeeds well uh, th that's gonna be good for him um, if he fails I'm gonna just steamroll him with the general that's pretty much the uh, whole like mental gymnastics behind a, a general in the back so I'm gonna actually put some troops uh, in front try to uh, break this position I'm gonna get uh, the ghost uh, on uh, on his face and actually ghost will get some damage so my opponent not the perfect uh, defense right here uh, that's gonna be some uh, juicy uh, general connections uh, like I've anticipated he probably should counter play me with machine gun because usually if you can uh, successfully split up uh, the uh, aggression of the general player you'll, you're gonna be very good to go uh, but if you can't you're gonna suffer some consequences so I'm gonna just play general and if my opponent plays archers I'm gonna play a flying ball on them like I said I'm gonna do exactly like I said I'm gonna do I'm gonna play a, a rolling steel to uh, counter his uh, phones although I didn't hit them that's that's unfortunate I'm gonna play a Steiny here, and right now he should be playing Machine Gun at the bridge if he knows my mana count. If he doesn't, he's gonna be scared, and that's why he's not gonna be able to win this game anytime soon. He plays the Machine Gun, but it's a little bit actually uh, very light, and that's why I'm gonna be able to very easily clean it up with my General. I'm gonna play Ghost here to clean all uh, these archers, which were also very poorly placed. Um, Porsche just not impressing me with his play today. I'm gonna play rolling still just to clean this uh, phone hut. This general should be able to get one hit. Okay, no, not two. 
but like it doesn't really matter because uh, at this point in time I can just play flying bomb on his tower and it's gonna be uh, lights out anyway so I may as well just uh, play for something more just to annoy him I'm gonna just pressure the opposite lane he's gonna play flying bomb here for whatever reason actually this ice tiny will uh, go off but yeah like I've said it doesn't really matter. Also, General gets a shot, so that's gonna be GG's. And even though it wasn't like good matchup for my opponent, especially that I have such a fast cycle, uh, it was uh, definitely winnable. And I'm uh, uh, I'm very impressed that he didn't even put up a fight. Usually, like I've said, if you play General in the back, you have to counterplay with a machine gun. Uh, instantly because it's your like only way of getting damage except for uh, spell cycle so that's a little bit of tip for Porsche for the next time we uh, he encounters this variant of general and we're gonna just jump to the next video I mean the next game uh, next game yeah, yeah and our next opponent on the list will be Grievous with one medal and a uh, the bomb girl at the bridge. I'm gonna actually play a rolling still on this. I wasn't sure whether he's gonna protect it or not. And obviously you want to always be uh, safe rather than sorry, especially if you're playing against a lower rated opponent. Because the thing about lower rated opponents is that they are lower rated for a reason. And it usually means that if you, uh, you can play uh, a bit more safe because um, um, when it comes down to uh, like details in the endgame, you're gonna always be able to outplay them. So I said better safe than sorry. Also, my opponent will take uh, Bomb Girls, so I'm gonna just predict the uh, next one with the skeletons. Uh, but not now, he's gonna play a Dark Knight, which uh, may complicate things because that's definitely not a deck that I was expecting to see. Uh, Let's see if he is gonna play a bomb girl. I'm gonna play a super dev very early to just start chipping uh, the Dark Knight, and that's definitely not gonna be a right approach to the position as he plays balloon instantly. He plays a lightning, which pretty much sends us to a tower trade scenario because right now I'm 100% sure he cannot uh, stop my general, uh, and I cannot stop his balloon either. So we're gonna just uh, basically tower trade, and I think. Uh, it's not uh, too bad of a decision of him, but at the same time, uh, usually a general rule of thumb says that uh, in a tower trade uh, scenario, it's gonna be like a general player with a slight advantage because you can always pop the general in the pocket and you're gonna be fine. And we're gonna start chipping his tower uh, right away. Let's just send a lone ghost, try to get some cheeky damage. Uh, and right now I'm gonna just set up a drunker in the back. Uh, probably not a super optimal decision, but at the same time, I kind of have a weird cycle anyway, so I might as well just uh, do this. I don't want to play my Super Devil, probably I should play it, but uh, once I play it, I know he's gonna just play Dark Knight and Balloon. Okay, he here comes the Dark Knight. I'm gonna actually play Super Devil uh, into a Dark Knight, because if he goes Lone Balloon, I'm actually very fine with this. He plays a uh, cannon, which is a uh, ver very weird uh, choice uh, for a card to play right here. He's gonna play Lightning, which pretty much allows me to get more aggressive. I think this can is very promptly dead. And uh, that's right, I'm gonna actually... Okay. So he's gonna actually uh, go all in for a Dark Knight on my on my uh, Viking Tower. He's gonna actually go for a 3-star, which I don't think is a good choice. But uh, we're... We're gonna try to refute it right now. Uh, this ghost was absolutely horrendous. I wanted to snipe his archers, but I didn't manage uh, to do so. Right now, actually, his attack may be very potent because I don't uh, uh, I don't have a good clue how uh, do I want to stop it. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny and then fold up with Super Devil. Yeah, he's gonna be instantly there with Lightning, so I'm gonna have to be very quick with the counterplay. Play general, kill the archers with the uh, uh, with the ghost. My general will get some good hits. Another one, there we go. And I think right now I have to play general. Honestly, I mean, uh, yeah, as fast as I can. Also, he has only one building. Okay, right now we just play general in the pocket and win pretty much. That's what happens because he doesn't have uh, time nor mana 
to play his can. That was actually very close game and Grievous actually gave us some content at the end. Even though he had one melo, he kind of knew how to play this matchup and absolutely props uh, to him for saving the video because, yeah, I, like I've said, I at least wanted one uh, decent game and here we go. So, I wouldn't say his matchup was too good, but like at the same time, uh, if he gets his uh, push rolling, which I pretty much cannot prevent, I can just delay it. Uh, it's very scary and I definitely lose a tower, that's why I was like always scared of uh, uh, allowing him to go for my viking tower. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, general gameplay. Today a bit uh, faster one, without a cannon for safety, just troops and full aggro attack uh, things. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I definitely advise you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post more stuff like this every single day about Boomerang, about strategy, about decks. You can learn something from it and you definitely don't want to miss out the content if you enjoyed this one. So yeah, thanks for watching till the end. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boomerang.